Hi guys, this is Abhishek Kumar. Welcome to my channel Electrical Guru. So today topic is generator protection system. So let us understand what the generator protection system is. So I have bring my notes and let us clear our doubt. So generator in power in power generating station generator plays a vital role generator the main purpose of generator is to generate the power since generator is connected with the infinite grid so it's very important to protect the generators from any upset in the system so i'm going to share my notes if you people wish I can share the basic of generators and everything about the generators based upon uh, the interest that uh, I will get from you people. So right now I am only concentrating about the protection of generators. I considering myself that uh, you people are already aware about the generators, how it works, what are the principle of the generators, where it is used. So my focus is to describe the protection of generators which is used in industry like how this protection are working in the power generation industries and for the basics you can go through the books or you can follow other some YouTube channels but if you wish I can make video too for the generator basics like we know that generators have winding stator windings we have rotor winding and generator is connected with the prime movers like turbine turbine might be either steam turbine gas turbine or any kind of turbine since uh, prime movers rotates the generators and uh, it is very important if certain fault generates inside the generators is very important to stop the turbine so we have some protection schemes that uh, that uh, i will discuss here which is used for generator protection before we proceed uh, let me start with the basic what happens inside the power generation or any other captive power plant turbine rotates with the help of steam or gas it is connected uh, with a shaft and when the turbine reaches its rpm either it might be 1500 or 3000 rpm so i am sharing just a basic formula as we know that n is equal to 120 f by p where n is the speed f is the frequency which is fixed in india that is 50 hertz in other countries like america uh, the frequency is 60 hertz p is equal to number of poles so based on that formula our we design the uh, generators or uh, turbine like suppose if we have a four poles generator then the turbine should rotate at 1500 rpm and if our pole number of poles is two in the generator then turbine speed will be 3000 rpm in some cases uh, uh, if rpm of the turbine is uh, 3000 rpm and we have four pole generator then uh, we use a gear box in between uh, turbine and generator uh, to reduce the speed of turbine to 3000 to 1500 rpm so in that way we uh, calculate the number of poles or the speed requirement apart from that we have also exciter which is connected with the generators soft because if the turbine rotates along with the generators the voltage will not induce so there is an excitation system which excites the rotor winding results generates the induced voltage that is from uh, after excitation voltage is generated in the stator winding like if uh, we are having a, a generator rating 6.6 kb 11 kb or 24 22 23 kb or like that so excitation is very important part for the generators because it controls the load as the load increases on the generators the excitation 
the exciter supplies the excitation voltage to the generator and uh, it maintains the voltage at the same time turbine takes the steam to maintain the speed or we can say to maintain the grid frequency. So, if you if you need the basic of generator and excitation system, I can make video, I have a, a note I can share with you, but uh, so if you if you want me to share the knowledge about the generator and their excitation system, please comment and uh, I will sure share that note to you. So, let us start the protection of generators. So, what is the difficulty in a generator protection system is that unlike other equipments, opening a breaker to isolate the defective generator is not enough to prevent further damage. Since the generator will continue the supply power to its own fault until its field excitation has been suspended. So, even if we isolate the generator breakers, the next challenge is to isolate the excitation su supply. Since prime mover is still rotating, generator is still moving and if excitation is uh, still on, then generator will circulate its own fault. So, isolating the generator breaker is not enough, we have to isolate the prime mover and we have to isolate the generator from the grid at, and also we need to isolate the generator from ex, its excitation system, we have to switch off the excitation. Now every time it is not important to isolate the grid to ex, the excitation and the prime mover. Sometimes we have other faults like we have grid faults in which we need to only isolate the grid and we can run the generator on the home load. For that we have a generator protection philosophy, we divide the protection. So, before we start the protection of the generators, let us discuss what are the major faults in the generators. The major faults are you can say that failure of insulation of the stator winding, failure of insulation of the rotor winding, unbalanced loading field failure, overload, over voltage, failure of prime mover that is failure of steam turbine or gas turbine, loss of synchronism, over speed, under frequency, overheating. So, these are the normally faults happen in the generators, we are not going deeply into that faults, we are just categorizing these faults only. If you want me to go deeply into that protection, I do have notes on these. You can comment on that. I will share that protection along with the setting calculations and everything. So, to save the generator from these faults, below protective schemes are applied for generator protection. Like if I have to save the generator winding, for that we use differential protection. Another protection is inter turn fault protection, stator earth fault protection, overcurrent and earth fault protection, rotor earth fault protection, negative phase sequence protection. Negative phase sequence is a concern, I think it is uh, for uh, heating of winding, field failure protection, overload protection, over voltage protection, reverse power protection, pole slipping protection, backup impedance protection under frequency protections, all these protections actually we need to apply this protection in generator protective protection schemes. So, how this protection works, what are the settings, how these settings are calculated, how these settings are put in inside the relay and how this protection works uh, in the relay and what happens if this protection act, what are the consequences of this fault i can discuss too but in this in this video we are only concentrated to the schemes which is applied for the generator protection i will sure share 
the each and individual protection if people get interest based upon that we can share no problem but uh, now we have so many protection and uh, how we use this protections and uh, what does happens after this protection acts so we have so many protection and we have categorized this protection in three class i will discuss now how it works like we divided all the protection schemes in three class namely class a class b and class c so how we divide this protection in this class like if a fault is of very serious nature and reflects to the generator generator transformer turbine or boilers that is the fault is likely to cause a direct and very serious damage to the unit even after isolating the unit from infinite bus the protection scheme that operates is known as class a protection